Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of RimWorld. It is our Nexology Research Group, which is the name I chose for the faction and might end up being the title of the series. And I'm recording these episodes back to back. I just got in such a mood to play RimWorld today. I'm like, and I've got other Let's Plays on the go. I'm like, no, I must RimWorld. So that's what I'm doing probably all day long. And I'm going to have a blast doing it, I hope. Are you, Theo, are you running around naked? Oh, no, you do have pants on. Excellent. And you're doing research, which is what you want. We're really hoping you decide to stay around with us. Theo's just here for five days as part of a little quest. We're crossing our fingers that he sticks around because it'd be useful. We should chop down that tree because it's in the way. It's not going to give us any wood because it's literally not even the chop command. But that is going to be important. Okay, let's plan our... Stone cutter's bench. We're going to build this again. So you're having a little bit of a smoke. That's fine. The other thing I almost did instead of Arconexus run, I thought about kind of revisiting the concept of the company, one of my favorite RimWorld playthroughs ever. But this one's going to be based on sort of the well, like multi-level marketing things. Like for uh, those of you who watch um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you know, like Nutriboom, I thought about that. We would just make go juice, just sell energy drinks. All right, I'm going to set a job here for marble blocks due until X, where X is, um, I mean, keeping one stack around is fine, which would be 75 blocks. Although if we set this, a lot of times they're going to end up making, if we're at 74, they make, I think they make four at a time. So maybe I should set like 71 or I'll say 70. That'll give us a little bit of a buffer. Try to keep some of those around. And then after that, we'll do granite, which is the hardest rock. We do also have limestone, which is very hard, but we'll set those up. And the idea is to start producing this marble block so we can marble up Hope's room over here. There you go. Marble blocks are a go. And then the goal is to make her bedroom more impressive. Actually, we could start by just replacing her wall here with a marble wall because it would add beauty on the other side. Hmm. Nah, floor first. Although that uh, does mean we're going to be carrying dirt into our room all the time, which is really bad. So we'll have to counter with cleaning or floor the rest of this over here. Man, Theo, I want you to research above craft. Crafting like the rock cutting here, nothing under the craft skill needs, as far as I know, any skill whatsoever. Um, but I really want the research to happen if that's your expertise. So please do that. And yeah, maybe you can put a clean on first. That's going to be OK. And then floors. So we're going to do marble tile in this room over here. Oh, I need to turn off this here so we don't blueprint over mountains. I don't want to do that right now. We will do that. We will put floor under the door as part of a dirt management technique, but the door itself doesn't count as part of any room, so the quality of the floor doesn't matter there. But yeah, we'll get set up with some marbleizing. Add some beauty to the room. Yeah, the dirt management's going to be a little annoying. Oh, we got auroras going on outside. I don't know if it, the, uh, the, the vibe from the aurora doesn't stick around once you come back in. So while they're outside, they get a big boost, but otherwise it doesn't linger. So I don't think it matters. Of course, we're generating some wealth here by, you know, making flooring and whatever, which is going to make lead to harder raids and things. But it's important. Hope wants a good room. We're going to have to give her a good room. She's a little leader of things. Theo might get a little jealous, but he's, I mean, he's just here as a guest. We're feeding him and keeping him safe. So I think he's fairly happy. I mean, he's literally okay. He doesn't like the nutrient paste manuals. And yeah, the dislike xenotypes, which includes himself. Man, we got to get you converted, bro. Can I, if I went and put down a little ritual spot, say right there. Like, can I make you? No. We need three people to get a moral guide so that Hope can get her power to convert people, which is a little annoying. Apparently she is eligible to become a maker. Oh, because of her construction skill. But ideally the maker really is all about the crafting part of it. That's much more important in my mind. And Hope is not really going to be our crafter. Ideally we get someone with both a construction and crafting passion and make them the maker. But really, if I just get a double passion crafter, that's our target. I mean, I could even try one of these and if it was high enough quality. Yeah, but it's very unlikely to be high enough quality here. 
we get someone to join. Maybe it's actually going to be important for us to get a temple up and running, a beautiful temple up and running in the not too distant future. And if so, maybe I should build a temple here and we can build the beautiful wall to get the bad value both in Hope's room and the temple. If we had Jade, we could make a Jade wall. Looking for green. No, I don't see any. Doesn't mean it's not there. Doesn't mean it's not literally visible, but I don't see any. Because um, that would be the ideal. Build a jade wall to get the value in both Hope's bedroom and a temple over here, for example. Like we could use leave these stells up. Because they have they have some beauty. We could just build our temple around this. Maybe. I mean, it's ancient structure. We're all about ancient stuff with the Arco Nexus belief system. Kind of makes some sense. Just notice we've got some marble inside here. We can go and take those down, give us a little bit more internal room. We can also smooth down these walls here, including in Jade's or in Hope's room, not Jade's room, to add some beauty. But batteries coming in. This is roofed over here. Yes, it is. Good. So as soon as the battery tech is done, we'll do that. What do we research next? Maybe body armor. Start with some early Devil Strand. Psychoid brewing. We could do, set up the psychoid key stuff. Which is great for keeping moods up. We'd have to set up a little cooking table, but that's fine. I am very tempted to go straight to flak armor. Or maybe a solar panel. I like one a wind turbine, one solar panel for much more consistent power. I wonder what, okay, hold on. I'm going to queue up something. So I'm going to queue up flak armor, which also means plate armor. Where's our geysers at? Um, oh, I just zoomed out too far. Do we not have, well, I mean, must have at least one. Okay. There's one on the South over here. There are five geysers in total. Okay. There we go. One here, one here, one there. That's four. Where's number five? Oh, there, okay. There's three in the south. One in the northeast and one directly north. They're all pretty far out, which is a little annoying, but not the end of the world, really, for the geysers. They don't actually have to be close to the base. It means we're going to have to run a long power conduit. That's about it. But we still we seal things in and they don't really get attacked. So it's OK there. Cargo pods. What did Randy send us? A bunch of skulls. Um, I think this counts as part of our value right away. I don't know if Randy's drops. I think I think it does. So we might want to destroy it. I guess we may as well bring them in. I'm actually wondering about just putting them in the outdoor stockpile and letting them decay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to unforbid these. We'll bring them there. Potentially we can sell them to someone. It's got negative beauty, but being outside is not going to matter too much. Okay. More harvest. Yeah. We're going to have to put tons of rice. Maybe should I go and cut this in half and start growing a little bit of cotton or heel root? Depends on how quickly Randy sends us more people. Still waiting for the battery tech to finish. It must be nearly done. It's close. And I don't mind that Theo's taking breaks to clean. Just one battery and our power is going to be very stable. We're not using very much power. We're generating way more than we need when it's windy. So yeah, we just really need a battery. And soon we got this. All right. I can't intentionally attempt to convert Theo, I don't think. Like, I can't force the conversation. But as a proselyzer, I mean, anyone will try to have conversations about religion from time to time. But since we do have the proselyzer trait, I think, um, oh, I could have forced this to much higher, actually. Set the sometimes. I kind of did want to set it higher. I could go into dev mode and change it. I'm not opposed to using dev mode to make tweaks to ideology because it tends to be much more fun that way. I think one battery is going to do great things for us. It, this is outdoors. 
but it's it's roofed so which is important because if it gets rained on normally it explodes so we don't want that hope how's your bedroom it's now decent you want it to be impressive and that is fully floored up so more furniture or we could build an art thing and start working on that but I mean, you have you have some artistic passion, but only skill of two. So you're not going to make very impressive art, but maybe we should make a marble statue or two and throw it into Hope's bedroom. Or just marble wall her bedroom up. Maybe we could prioritize replacing the wood first just to reduce the fire hazard. I guess I could put um, let's put a little smooth. Uh, smooth. I don't know if the diagonal actually I don't even know if their diagonals are reachable here. And I don't know if they're counted, they count as part of the wall. I'll go and designate it all, and it's possible these guys will never get done, and that's okay. Yeah, we did buy those mortar barrels. We can't actually build mortars. We don't have that tech. We do start with the tech to build mini turrets and the uh, with the solo start, but I don't didn't feel a strong desire to set up. I don't know, a little turret over here would do wonders to keep us safe. Might get destroyed, which wouldn't feel great. Now that we got the batteries, we could support the turret. Oh, you do work on the diagonals. I don't know. Oh, the beauty does affect the room. Well, there we go. Okay. Cool. I guess I could have just smoothed the floor in here too, but I don't know. I like the tiling. This is, at least it's decent, which is good for the mood. And yeah, we are going to have to floor more things over here. Um, we could just use granite for that. But I guess we may as well keep using marble. And for simplicity, I might use the marble under the... Um, the floor, the door here too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little buffer here to minimize the dirt that gets dragged into her bedroom. I'll start with that because dirt gets generated when you go from a like a dirty tile, which can include a floor tile with dirt on it to a clean tile. So when we're moving from here to the floor or if it's dirty tile and we move further in, that's how you spread dirt around. So this will minimize the chance that dirt gets brought into our room. And as we keep building the floor out from here, it'll become less and less of a problem. You um, you can go a long time without any floor whatsoever, because once you start flooring, you kind of have to keep flooring because otherwise the dirt generation becomes more of a problem. But in this case, I'm, I'm kind of OK with getting it going here. Okay, you're going to keep working on the marble. We don't have anything set up for hall floor, but that's OK. How long is Theo going to be around here? The parts in seven hours. I really hope you stick around, Theo. We can we can put you to good use. And eventually you'll get converted and stop hating yourself. Because once he goes, Hope's going to have to start researching and she's really not great at it. But we got the battery tech up and that was very important. He helped a lot for that. It's not like we didn't have the food to spare. Now, okay, am I wrong about... How many blocks? I guess you make 20 blocks per, per go. Right. So I'm going to set this to 50. I mean, we might want to create a bigger number later, but the, the, all I'm trying to do here is just stop it from just generating too many. Do blocks get stored outside? They really should. There you go. I do have it set. Um, I think with the uh, tweaks galore, it defaults all our builds to go onto the floor instead of being hauled, which I think is generally a nice time saver rather than having to click it manually. I, th I think it's a good default. Maybe I should set up a second recreation period here to encourage Theo to, to make friends, but looks like they're leaving. Hopefully he'll give us a cool gift. Wish he'd stuck around. Uh, some items to trade. I want. Do you want to buy some skulls? I'm going to flag that for a medical bed now, just because I don't need it for anything else, and it can affect... Uh, her behavior. Actually, let me put the uh, bed rest back on by default here, and then let's do a little trade with Turtle, please. I can sell you this crappy knife. And that's probably the extent of things. All right. But sure, why not? A little nutrient paste meal, long blocks, cutting blocks. Wait, why are you cutting blocks now? We're at the thing. Oh, maybe you'd already started the job. Pulling that. She's back by herself. Uh, quest complete. Sad refugee. Yep, okay. Possible future reward. I really wanted a person. That would have been the reward. Going. Oh, yeah, you're bringing those skulls over. 
Oh yeah, these t-shirts have been rotting out. They're tainted though. We might be able to sell them for a couple of bucks. Uh, maybe we won't get do it on this trade here. Tell you what, drop that skull off. Oh, they're leaving. All right, that's fine. Oh, a gift. 111 silver? Uh, okay, don't mind if I do. Thanks. And then you're going back for a snoozle. Again, she's going to snooze more often. The biphasic schedule is much less efficient if you're spending a lot of time, say, far from the base and you're having to constantly, you know, walk an extra time back to your bed every day. But as long as you're not too far away, not really losing too much time, and in exchange, you have a much more stable and predictable mood, which is nice. Okay, yeah, the seed you're hauling in, that's fine. Yeah, we're just doing a little bit of cleanup of hauling. This is all stuff that's pretty good because actually selling the seed would be nice. Put it in the base. One more sil silver, moving those blocks around. Sure. Now you're at cleaning. And you're going to do a little bit of research. Okay, so yeah, you've reached the, the end of your work schedule here. I think I'm still happy with how things are going. Randall, if you would like to send me another colonist, I would really not complain about that, buddy. Kind of, I'm counting on you, man. Yeah, we might, we might want to get an early temple up. And just incorporate these stells. Nothing weird. Like we can have them indoors and everything. I hope I. Yeah, we probably build marble walls because we want maximum beauty for this room. Well, one thing you can do is you can sort of do some cheesy stuff because these fences. Um, only take a fraction of the material. Uh, a wall takes five units, a, a fence only takes one. And um, the fences give lots of beauty. So you can build fences inside of a room. It's kind of a cheesy way to get some extra beauty. Uh, and it's very, it's very effective. I think in this case here, I will go in marble wall and I will plan on sharing the wall over here. So we do this down so it's a 13 unit wall for an 11 by 11 internal space which is the biggest space that you can build without worrying about extra roof supports so yeah we'll do that what i'm going to do here is i'm going to forbid selection like that i want to just do this wall first real quick we should have enough blocks as is to go and finish that but yeah, you'll chop these trees down. That's okay. I might have to force Hope to finish the job without going to sleep here because she's... Oh, no, I've got that replace stuff mod. Yeah, which, is, which does save a little bit of time because we don't have to manually deconstruct. Um, normally, you do that as a two-step process, and it would take a little bit longer because it does take a few ticks to deconstruct, but mostly it's about saving clicks for me. I hate having to, like, assign the deconstruction, waiting for it to do, do it, and then replace the wall afterwards. There you go. So you got more. It's now slightly impressive. Is that enough to get rid of it? It is. You no longer have the debuff. Okay, slightly impressive is enough to get rid of the greedy debuff. That's good news. Now, if there's any dirt that gets generated in here, it'll drop down pretty quickly. So we're gonna have to work pretty hard to keep this area clean. But that's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unforbid this. We'll also plan some doors in here. I don't think I'll plan a door from her bedroom because I don't think I want people walking through there. A transport pod crash. See, asking you shall receive. Independent space refugee. Hold on, let me read. That's not the sad. Um... Not afflicted. You can rescue her and hope she joins or capture her. Depressive masochist. Very tortured artist over here. You do have the intellectual. Depressive is annoying. I think masochist is fine. You got an old gunshot wound, so you're always going to be aching, which you're happy about. I mean, right now you're in intense pain. Okay, I think we want Madeline to join us. Do we do it as a prisoner? You've got the Supreme Army as well, so you've got the, the self-hating thing. Definitely have to convert you. Okay, this is sort of going to suck. We're gonna turn this into a prisoner room here. Hope's gonna lose her bedroom for a sec. We're gonna capture Madeline. Because I don't want her, I don't want to risk not having her join us.
So Hope's going to lose her buff from having her nice bedroom. Theoretically, for converting, we actually want a bad room for our prisoner because it'll work better. But I think this is going to be OK. So it's going to be we're going to we're going to reduce resistance, then convert, then try to recruit. It's going to happen in that order with the mod that I'm running. So the reduce resistance is something we have to do anyway, and we're hoping to just casually maybe have some freebie conversion conversations before we go and do the hardcore stuff. And then as soon as you're actually converted, then we'll just finish recruiting you. That's going to be OK. So we're doing some very basic treatment over here without, I don't think, any medicine. Shift to the star. So this is the one where we got to go across the planet and leave. We'll just leave it in the queue, but we won't actually interact with it. Now, Hope does have good social skills, which is going to be very important here. Very important. Now, it's going to be easier to actually recruit you. It'll be harder to convert you in a fancy bedroom, but easier to recruit you. Mm -hmm. You're doing just relaxing. Okay, that's fine. Probably, yeah, it's during the, the social period, then you're going to go to sleep here. Sorry, you don't have your fancy room. We could quickly build an extra bedroom. Now, is there any super fertile tile over here? Terrain? There is some down there. I sort of talked about expanding this way to this patch. But our organic expansion kind of feels good doing this way. Maybe what we do is build a 13 by 13 room in this general area. Can't get onto the mud because it can't support a lot of construction. Um, and then just divide into four just to be ready for more bedrooms for people once they start joining us. We can use some for prisoner rooms. Maybe. Or I just do the thing where I go back here. I like the idea of this temple, though. I think that's going to be nice. We'll home zone that. Okay. I don't think you've got anything that was making it harder for you to join. Yeah, low opinion. Maybe that'll develop. This is okay. Close this in. Uh, we'll go ahead and claim these guys going to be fine. That way they'll get repaired and stuff. Getting more blocks, right? Which is going to have to keep going because we're making these marble walls. And marble, not the hardest stone, but it is going to be very pretty for these rooms. Um, what we can do wherever we could build a... I think this is more later on. But we could have a prisoner like barracks or prisoner dormitory um, with its own nutrient paste dispenser so that the prisoners can feed themselves without taking up more time from our people. I know another 1.1 drop in resistance. It's not going too bad. We'll definitely want to move these chunks out of there because it's not going to be very pretty. Which situation is great. We don't have to go pick berries or anything. That's fine. And you have wardening set to a one. You do. I mean, clearly it happened because you went and have been working on Madeline over here. I'm going to cut some more marble. This is going well. So quite an extravagant construction for only a single colonist right now. But I, assuming you can run an event on your own, we might be able to get some people joined from Hope doing some religious rituals. That would be huge for us. Went awful bedroom, unsightly environment, and yeah, you're greedy still. So okay, we'll give you your old bedroom at some point. I promise it'll happen. Good night's sleep. Food for you. You might go and feed Madeline next. Oh, attempt to recruit. That's okay. How's it going here? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, 1.0. A little worse than some of the others, but that's okay. Madeline's still recovering. Yeah, she'll always have that aching wound, which is actually going to be really good for her. The depressive is going to be annoying. Also, apparently she's a little bit naked, which she's not pleased about. I guess we are going to have to set up a... Um, a clothing thing, maybe sooner rather than later. I need a little bit more steel. Okay. We're being raided, preparing for a while. Imps. Okay, it's just a single imp. That's good. We'll try to pull them into here if we can. They do have a bow. We might be able to hit them one time out in the field. 
I mean, I could set up sandbags and stuff over here, but I don't think that's what I want. Okay, preparing for assaults. Come over here. Where are you? Quite far away. We'll just do one round of shots and then we'll run inside. Where the hell are you going? Okay, I guess we're going to go <coughs> over here. Oh! I'm going to go smash the stell. Um... Come on, hit him. He's still distracted. Okay, now he's shooting at us. We're going to pull back. Maybe I should put a door right here. Are you... Oh, you're just back to smashing things. Well, if we can get another few free shots on you, that'd be nice. Before you turn your attention back to us. I could also leave this door open and then use this wall as cover. I'll tell you what, I'll do a hold open regardless. There you go, you finally hit him. Ooh, nice big bleed. We probably win this. I mean, what's their shooting skill? Ooh, 11, they're pretty good at shooting. We're certainly not as good, but we have a much better weapon. And you're downed. Okay, you're addicted to Ambrosia. Jogger, psychically dull, chemical fascination is a little annoying. You're good at shooting. You got social intellectual. Um, I mean, you can haul. I think we try to capture you. Capture the fawns. Um, actually, let's tend you where you are just to stop the bleeding. Yeah. Because it was, it was bleeding out pretty quickly. Obviously, this is not going to be a very high-quality tend. But yeah, just to stop the bleeding as quickly as possible. There we go. Capture. Okay. It's a good thing we've got lots of extra food. Because we're going to need it. Are you doing more tending? Yeah. Oh yeah, one of the non-bleeding injuries. You're being fed a survival meal? Why are they being fed survival meals? Let me re-forbid these. Maybe it's because they don't like the nutrient paste meals. Oh my god. Boomrat. Actually, this might be the biggest problem. Come on. I mean, hopefully it'll die there. Okay, so you're in fire. That's fine. Hopefully we can put all this out. Quick, 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 quick. Faster. It's definitely spreading a little. Oh, no, it's spreading a lot. Oh, my God. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Now do the bed. Okay, we're fine. Whew. All right, I'm going to rebuild these fences here um, with granite. Chunks of spacecraft. Okay, that's fine. I need, I need, now I need Randy to give us a short break, if at all possible. Please. I know, that's a big ask. Whew. All right. Sleep good. I guess this is a good place for us to put a cut. So I'm going to do that now. We've got a couple of people possibly joining us. They're not the greatest. Like, you know, I would really like a crafter. But you can you can fight. And actually, okay, you can research. That's going to be huge. And then Maddie, sort of the same thing. So, I mean, we're going to start researching like crazy fast. We'll get a second research bench once everyone gets uh, recruited. And um, I think we are... Going to get the Psychoid Brewing. Can I not reorder with this mod? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Drop you two. Put the t the, uh, this armor back in. We will get the Psychoid Brewing ready to go so we can have Psychoid tea for the Fawns, which is definitely what I'm going to keep calling you. And I think I'm going to plan a growing area over here. There's some Psychoid leaf. Maybe about that much. Okay. 
And Psychoid T is really good for our drug policies over here. Um, I'm not going to make this. So social drugs, this one here is at the top. So this one here we can turn on default. This is what everyone gets when they join in. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to turn off everything from these defaults. Uh, okay, no, you can do. Oh, this is for hold on. That's for addictions. Actually, yeah, I guess. What was this set to? I do new policy. It was defaulting to that. Okay. So if you're addicted, you can do it. But no recreation policies, because this can happen a lot if you get visitors from like the Imperium, which we may not be doing as much of an issue. We'll do that. And then this policy here, this is going to be um, T. This is it's important, as we know, that we set this for adults only because psychoid tea, they can drink every other day and be perfectly fine with it. Um, I guess for recreation, we can enable these two. That's going to be OK. But we know that kids have a reduced tolerance for it, and it causes us an issue when we started playing biotech because we'd finally figured out this. Hey, keep, give everyone psychoid tea every couple of days. I think it's every couple of days. We'll double check and it keeps them happy. And unlike um, smoke leaf, which is what we used to do, it doesn't decrease their consciousness. So it's actually really useful to do it. Um, but we had that as a default policy and then kids would do it and then they would OD because they have a lower body mass. And um, yeah, so that didn't work out as well as we'd hoped. Do we not have any herbal meds? Did we really use it all again? I think we did. Okay. There's only the one to harvest in this view. I might want to go and harvest all of it on the map. We do have more people now. I mean, not that many people are injured. Again, want to hold off, want to resist using actual medicine. I guess what I'll do is I'll select everything on the map. Fully grown. We'll let her harvest some of it, and then we'll just go and cancel the designations afterwards. That's probably the way to do it. So Madeline's moving around now. We are going to need some bedrooms soon. Maybe I build the prison room here so I can have the second nutrient paste dispenser still in the freezer. That's actually an interesting idea. I'm not so much for this group, although, I mean, maybe. All right, if I, I mean, we could do this. It doesn't have to be huge. I don't know. If we just have this as the prison room and with the plan to deconstruct this and build another one of those, not right now, but at some point in the future, and do this. That seems okay. Oh, do I want to start building out of stone? I think, I think maybe I do. Because we want to be fire resistant. So we are going to be building granite walls. There. Okay. Little prison barracks. Playing horseshoes. You won't be able to play horseshoes from that angle later on, but that's okay. okay a little more treatment. Now, Maddie, your resistance is down to a 5.3. Then again, after that, we will start to explicitly try to convert instead of just hoping it's casually happening. We don't have the convert power, unfortunately, because we needed three people, I think, before we could assign a converter. Yeah, another transport pod crash. OK, Randall's giving us all the people now not affiliated with anyone so we can safely capture you. OK, we'll probably have to break the smoke leaf dependency. Everyone's got the freaking Supreme Army, and none of them are pigskins. Kind, ascetic, good at planting, and you do have the animal skill. Okay, uh, I guess we're going to capture Mathis. We're starting to get a lot of prisoners now. I'm actually, now I'm concerned about a prison break. Uh, we might have to get people into individual little prison rooms sooner rather than later. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to install a door there. Um, yeah, that's not going to work right now. And if I did it now, well, because of the replace stuff mod, it'd be OK. I guess I'd have to go and carve this out for when this wall shows up or cancel this corner. OK, let me do that. Yeah, 10 to Mathis. That's fine. 
and you were quite hungry. Attempt to recruit. Okay, well, that was pretty good. Yeah, you do have to feed the prisoners immediately. Attempt to recruit. Sure. Oh, that's, that's one's a lot of work. Then you rest. I'm going to get you to prioritize work in this door, actually. I think it'll be convenient for us to have that. There we go. Thank you. Although a second door, I think, might increase the prison break rate. Oh, which is mostly going to be annoying because I don't want to lose these people. Hmm. So the sooner this gets built, I can move one person over there. Just move Maddie over there. Unless we don't finish converting you. That's a possibility. We could just recruit you the second your resistance hits zero. And just hope to convert you socially afterwards. But it's not really ideal, is it? You're spending all your time doing this. I mean, your social skill is going to be going up fairly quickly with these actions. Which is going to increase the speed at which these things happen, I suppose. You know, that resistance is crazy bad. Hmm. Little jade, little gold, a little weapon. Fonz has gone berserk. You are already pretty heavily injured. I guess we'll just melee you down. I don't think... Ooh, we destroyed a pinky. That's unfortunate. Hopefully you dropped pretty quickly. Okay, you did. Yeah, self-tend to yourself, hope. Although you're only bruised, which is okay. I suppose I could have you treat the fawns first, because fawns might get an infection. But no, you know what? Physician, tend that to thyself. What does it say? Heal thyself. All right. Well, you know what? I just, I think I meant to put a cut in here about 10 minutes ago, and then I got distracted by the action again. I'm having so much fun with this run. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope, I uh, hope. I'm sorry. Um, I do hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you stick around for the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.